Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about two activities. One is get cell color, another one set range color. Before going to start, uh, you know, to work on these two activities, let me explain you the scenario. If you see on my screen that I'm having an Excel. So right now you can see that the uh, color for the columns, right? If I want to give some colors to the columns, to differentiate which is the column and what is the data. So I have meant, I have given some colors over here for the columns. If you want to set some kind of colors to the columns or from one range to another range, then you are going to use set range color or else I'll give you one more scenario for the set range color. If you see the data over here, the customer is looking to differentiate the data related to the personal information as well as the student marks related information. If you see over here, this is the names of the students, right? I want to differentiate this one along and you can see over here that these are all the student marks. I want this one in different, different colors. Now what I'm going to do in this session, I'm going to set some color by using set range color from here to here in the sense from range from, uh, from A, C2 to H18. I'm going to set some colors by using set range color. So another one, another activity which I'm going to use, get cell color. What is the purpose of this one? In future, if I want to filter the data based on the colors, let's assume if the student is going to be getting passed or fail, you know, I'm going to give different, different kinds of colors to the particular student or based on the marks. Now I want to filter it out who are having the pass mark based on the color. Okay, in that scenario or, you know, or else if you are having the charts kind of thing at the time by using get cell color that you are going to filter out the data. But now we are going to see only which color that the cell that I'm having, I can get it by using get cell color. These two activities, I'm going to work it out right now by using UA Path Studio. Let me switch to UA Path Studio. Before that, I'm going to add a sequence by clicking on add sequence. I'm just giving the name colors, okay? Colors activity. Let me click on create. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the Excel, right? So that what is the scope, Excel application scope, I need to drag and drop onto my panel. Now let me go and let me drag and drop our Excel application scope and let me browse the file which we are going to work with. That is student marks, right? Let me go, let me open it. Now I'm going to get the cell color first. As the first activity, what I will do, I will go for the get cell color, which color has been used for the particular cell. Now if you see over here, I want to fetch this color which I have you know, used for the particular cell. Okay, how can I go ahead and get it? By using get cell color. Where I can find this activity? Get cell color. You can see under app integration, under Excel, you will find get cell color. Let's drag and drop onto the panel this get cell, cell color activity. First of all, we we'll go to the properties on my right hand side. We're having common property display name. Don't worry about that. The input. The input is cell, cell of which cell of which sheet. Now, if you see the sheet name, I'm going to sheet one and the default cell is A1. If you want to give some other cell, you can give it over here by clicking over here, B1. Okay, B1 is the class, class cell which we have given. I'm going to get it the color of the cell. Now, if you see the color, I want to store it in the output. That output is, we'll get an output of color. Now, where I can get it, where I can store it, by clicking on Control K, I'm going to create a variable var get cell color. I'm just giving the same name, and then click on Enter. Now, if you see the variables, if you see the name, variable name is var get cell color, and variable type, so till now we have used different variable type that is one string, integer, boolean, and also we have used data table. Now we are using another variable type that is called color. That will comes from the system.drawing.color namespace that we are going to use it. Okay, now 
let me go ahead let me display the color over here by dragging and dropping out the message box now which one i have to store uh, display the color which we have stored that is in var get color if you see dot to string i have to convert into now let me go ahead let me run this bot now if you see the color is yellow right now if you see over here what is the difference over here now if you see get cell color i got it in system drawing in the output right if you want only the color now what we will do dot to known color okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to get it if you see once again that i'm going to okay yellow directly i'm going to get it the color yellow okay there is the two known color and two string that is the format and we'll get it in the rgb format okay fine now this is all about the get cell color okay now what we are going to do we have seen how to use the get cell color to fetch the particular cell color now by using the same excel i want to set the color different color over here from range of c22 h18 how can i go ahead and set different color compatible with others okay now let me go to over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this get cell color and then i'm going to use set range color where we can find this under app integration under excel we will find set range color activity let me drag and drop this activity onto my panel and now you can see the properties of this set range color i have the common property display name and the color which color you want to set it out i will tell you over here and the range from which range that i am going to look it out from c2 to h18 i'm differentiating the marks only i'm going to differentiate it from range c2 to h18 and the sheet name you can see as a sheet 1 and now i have to give the color as the main property and now you can see the color if i go type directly green color i won't get it the color if i want to put it a green how can i go ahead and get it system system dot you can see over here i'm going to use here you can see system dot drawing the same properties that we have to use are the same coding system dot drawing dot color dot which color let us assume i am going to give it a green color now i am specifying that i have to use the green color now i want to set it the entire marks i have to give the green color now what i am going to do i am saving it now let me show you i'm just giving as a message box as completed coloring completed i'm just using the box to know is it completed or not color uh, completed colored completed i will just give like that and let me save it now let me run the bot now if you see all the colors from a uh, from c2 to h 18 that all the cells we have got it as a uh, you know color as green okay this is how uh, you know for the auto save purpose we are going to overwriting it that we will check it out later there's no issues this is how we are going to use both the proper both the activities like get cell color and set range color activities in this session i hope you understand how to use the both activities to set the colors and get the color by using these activities thank you for watching your path tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day